Hey, Rhino Cats, happy Place Value Thursday. It's Miss Mary Louise, and today we're gonna do a really fun activity involving place value. So go ahead and grab some sort of writing utensil. I prefer markers, um, I like to get colorful. Um, either a piece of paper or um, some sort of index cards. And then finally, um, a container like Tupperware or a hat or a bag, something to put scraps of paper or index cards in. Um, meet me back here once you've got those things and we're gonna get started on our place value activity. All right, random cats. So the first thing you are going to do is you're gonna take your sheet of paper or your index cards and you are gonna write the numbers zero through nine on scraps of paper or just on paper that you make into scraps. That's what I did. Um, obviously, if you have index cards, those work too. Um, but you should have 10 numbers in total, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, um, making those 10 numbers total. Um, if you're wondering what these lines are um, on 6 and 9, I just made sure to um, indicate where the bottom of the number was with this line so that if um, if and when I draw it out of my container in a second I know that this is a six and this is a nine and I don't get confused because sometimes if you pull it upside down you may not know um, but go ahead and write those numbers out and um, make sure that they're separated so that you can um, pick them individually um, and that's your first step Next step is I grabbed a hat and used a hat as my container, but once again, you can use a bag or some sort of Tupperware container or a box, whatever you have laying around, and you're gonna put your scraps of paper with those numbers zero through nine written on those pieces of paper, and you're gonna place them in the container, and then now we can kind of draw them out in random order. We can even turn them upside down if we want so we don't see the numbers, um, but basically your challenge is to draw, so pick at least three or sorry, it can be one to three numbers from the hat. So maybe we'll do two this time and see what numbers you can make with the digits that you pulled out from this hat. So I pulled out a two and a nine. Um, so I can make the numbers 29. I can also make the number 92. Since I only have two numbers, those are the only numbers I can make, 92 and 29. But if I pulled a third number, like three, I could make 392, I could make 239, I could make 923, okay? So really fun to just pull as many different cards. Um, I mean, if you really want to, you can pull four at a time, make numbers in the thousand, but really your focus is just two to um, three digit numbers. If you want, um, you know, obviously, if you just pull one, it's gonna be a one digit number, like zero would just be a zero. Um, but if we pulled another one, we can make it 40, right? Um, so really the point of this game is just to see how many different numbers you can make with these digits that you have made out of index cards or scrap pieces of paper um, in the container. So see how many different numbers you can make. Um, they can be as short or as long as you'd like. Um, make as many different number digit combinations as possible and have fun with it. 